Why did the rhino cross the road? To get to the other side. This afternoon, we're on our second safari drive in beautiful Kazaringa National Park. This time around, we're going to enter the Western Zone. This zone is the most popular of the four zones, and it's often said to offer the best chance to see the greater one-horned rhino. We are already starting off with something big, as there's a water buffalo. And the excellent driver has spotted something very small. Inside that crack of the tree, you'll see a gecko or two. Them are some cool lizards. This park is home to around 42 different kinds of reptiles, including a few cobras. Not sure if we'll be seeing a king cobra tonight though. It's interesting to note how high the water gets in the rainy season. Just look at those levels for the recent years of 2016 and 17. And here we have one of the animals affected by the rainy season, the rhino. I can't believe how easy it's been so far to see rhinos in this park. It's like no matter where we're at, if we look hard enough, one will show. And here's another one wading around the shallow waters eating aquatic plants. But let's take to the road some more and maybe we'll find a tiger. That would be amazing. But until then, we can for sure enjoy another rhino sighting. Using their prehensile lips, the greater one-horned rhino can be a grazer or a browser. This one has some friends along with him. These birds are waiting for the rhino to stir up some insects for an easy meal. In just over three months from now, the rains will come and this area will most likely be underwater. We are now driving up to higher grounds. And look, more rhinos. Can't even drive for long without a rhino crossing the road. This park is for sure proving itself to be the best place in the world to find an Indian rhino. What an amazing drive. And as the sun sets on this lone rhino, we're starting our way out of the zone. But before we get out, we're seeing some more animals that aren't rhinos, like these birds, including this little white-throated kingfisher. I sure hope I get another chance inside that western zone. That was the perfect location for rhinos. Now back at the lodge, it's time for another perfect meal. It looks like I can finally spot a tiger. There's a sign here that states it's been a few weeks since anyone at this lodge has seen one. Let's hope we can change that. Well, tomorrow will be another interesting day in the park. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe so you don't miss any rhino action. And for more information on rhinos, please read this video's description.